Okay, we're going to program our projectile um, program onto our calculator so we can maybe use it on the test. Um, we're going to um, be able to plug in a velocity, a range, and a vertical displacement, and then it should uh, be able to just tell us what our two angles are to launch into the bucket. And we want to do that on our calculator. So um, if you get your calculator out, we'll try to show you how to do that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this uh, program button here to make a program. And then we'll go over to new and then we'll click one because we want to create a new program. And we're going to call this uh, something, um, maybe I'll call it launch. And so we can use alpha and all the letters and you got to hit alpha every time you hit a letter. So I'll do like alpha L. Whoops, alpha, there we go. L, alpha, A, alpha, U, alpha, N, alpha, C, alpha, H, and uh, that's good. So we're going to name our program uh, launch, and we'll click enter. <clears throat> and then, uh, so now we're in, into our programming. Um, so, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to actually have the user be able to enter uh, our three variables, V, R, and S. So we're going to uh, click on Program again, and uh, we want to go over to I slash O, which stands for Input Output. And uh, when we go to Input Output, you see a whole bunch of things here, and we're going to use number two, Prompt, because we want to uh, provide a prompt for the user to enter things. So we're going to click on number two and we're going to prompt and we're going to um, set up our variables. So we're going to do, let's do alpha uh, V for velocity. And then you have to hit the comma because we're going to prompt uh, three different variables. Uh, we wanted to enter um, an R, so we'll do alpha R for the range and we'll hit comma again. And then we'll do an alpha S and we don't have to hit comma. We shouldn't hit comma this time. So um, those are going to be the three prompts. So I'm going to click enter. And then once they've entered those, we want uh, the, com the calculator to do math on all these things. So um, we know that A is going to be 1, and we need to figure out B, and we need to figure out C. So the first thing we'll do is we'll figure out what B is going to be. Um, so what, we're just going to do some math. Um, so if you look at what B is supposed to be, it's 2V squared divided by grab GR. So we're going to try to program in here. So we're going to just do 2 uh, times, and then we get our variable v, uh, v, where's v, 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 and then we're going to square that, and then we're going to divide that by a negative, and use this uh, minus, the plus minus thing, minus 9.81, and we're also, of course, going to divide that by r, alpha r, and that is going to be our B value. So how do I assign that to like a, a variable? Well, the way we do it here is we figure out uh, something that we, we calculate something. We want to store it into a variable called like B. So what you do is you come down and you actually click on store. That'll put a little arrow. And then you can store it into a variable and we'll call that alpha um, B. So we're going to store that into B. That's good. And click enter. Okay, we want to calculate C also, which is a little bit more complicated. So we're going to do 1 minus, and then we're going to do an open paren, so we can put everything else in this parentheses here in, in the end. So 1 minus, and what do we have? We have 2 times uh, the vertical displacement, which is S, right, times uh, alpha V, and we're going to square that, and then we're going to divide that by a negative 9.81 and we're going to uh, divide that also by um, r uh, squared <clears throat> and then we can close up the parenthesis on that and that will be our c so if you remember how to do that we come down and click store that into alpha uh, c so that's in there and we'll come down and click enter all right, so we have, and we know A is one, so we didn't bother with that. We'll just remember that. And B, we have B and we have C. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put them into the, uh, the quadratic formula, and we're going to do this twice. We're going to do one with the plus value and then one with the minus value. 
Okay, so um, we're going to start by an open parenthesis, and then we're going to do opposite B, so use this minus key here, minus alpha uh, B, because that's we've already figured out what B is, right? It's right, it's right here. Okay, um, so opposite B, and then we're going to do plus, this first one we'll do plus, so plus square root, so if you'll see that second, and then the x squared, so that's a square root right there. Uh, square root, and that puts an open parenthesis too, so it's going to square root everything that's going to be in this parenthesis. We'll have to remember to close it here in a little bit. Uh, alpha uh, b squared uh, minus minus uh, 4 times a, which is 1, so we don't have to worry about that. So times uh, c, alpha c. And then we want to close up the parentheses, which will close up what's under the square root. And then we want to close up the parentheses for the whole numerator. And we're going to divide that thing all over 2a, which in a is 1. So just divide by 2. And uh, so we're going to have that particular value. Um, so we're going to store that a little ways, too. So we're going to store and uh, let's use, usually these we have two x values. So we're going to store that into x, alpha x. Good, enter. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing. Parenthesis, opposite, b, but this time instead of plus, we're going to do minus square root b squared minus 4 times c, close, close, divided by 2. And we're going to store it, and I don't have another x, so let's let's just go ahead and call it, uh, we'll just call it y. Whoops. Um, alpha y. There we go. Okay, we'll store that one into, uh, into y. Okay, um, so now we have our two uh, results in the quadratic formula, x and y, but of course we know that those are actually tangent of theta. So we got to enter here first, enter. And so we want to figure out what the angles are, so we're going to have to do one more thing. We're going to do a little bit more calculation. We're going to do second tangent of x, alpha x, close parenthesis, and that's going to be one of our angles, so let's store that. Um, Alpha, ooh, let's do this. There's a theta there. We can actually store one in theta. That's nice. Enter. And then let's figure out the other angle. So that'd be second tangent of y. Close it up. And we'll store that in, uh, let's see, what's another? Um, let's, let's use z. So theta is our first angle, and z will be our second angle. And then we'll hit enter. Okay, and so now I have my angles, and I'll, I just needed to display them back to the screen. So on this next line, we're going to go back up to Program and go over to Input Output again. And if you look at number three, it says Display. So we're going to click number three, and it puts a DISP there. It puts a display there. And um, let's type in some text first. And, and if you want to do text to display on the screen, you actually have to use these quotation marks around it. So we're going to do alpha, quotation mark, alpha A, alpha N, alpha G, alpha S, well, the angs, angles, alpha, close up the quotation marks. And we have to put a comma then. We separate comma, commas used to separate our text and our variables and everything. So um, what's our variable? We want to um, print out uh, uh, theta, comma, and we want to print out um, z, z. Okay, so that should display our angles on our calculator. And so to save this program, you come up here and you hit second and then mode because that's quit. And that'll actually save the program when it quits. So we're going to do we're going to do second uh, quit. Okay. So now you have a program stored in your calculator. How do you run it? Well, you when you get your calculator out for the test, you click program, and see there it is. It's in there. Uh, launch.
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, it's under execute right now, so we can go ahead and do one and it'll launch our program. So um, it, the first thing it does, it says program launch, and basically you're asking, it's asking you again, and you click enter to start your program. It says, okay, what's the velocity? So we'll use it from our inquiry, like our velocity was like around seven. So I'll put in seven, uh, enter. <clears throat> what was the range? Just say it's about three meters, enter. And let's say we want to uh, shoot up into a basket that's one meter high above the launcher. So I'm going to put in one, and I'll click enter. And there they are. There's our angle, 68 and 40.4 should should work. All right, let's uh, let's and notice these aren't complementary because they're not shooting and landing on the same plane. Let's do this data again and let's have them shoot and land on the same plane to make sure that they are complementary and that it works. So I click program again. Uh, one and we're gonna start our program velocity seven uh, range three and the s is we'll say is a zero enter and I get 71.5 and 18.4 and yes those are complementary uh, angles <clears throat> okay let's just try it one more time so you can try all these out to make sure your program is working so we're gonna launch it Let's do, uh, again, seven, enter, uh, three, enter, and this time we'll do a negative one. We're going to shoot it uh, farther down, enter, and there's my uh, angles. I'd actually have to shoot one of them uh, downwards to get it into the, to the bucket. Uh, let's see, what happens if we put in something that doesn't work at all? So program, launch, start. Let's say we have a velocity of seven, enter. We have a range of uh, 98. There's no way it's ever gonna make it that far with a velocity of seven. Enter, um, we'll do zero, enter. And uh, we have an error, non-real answers. In real mode, all calculations must result in a real number. So if we go to uh, two, go to that part in our program, it shows where we had that problem and you'll notice of course, it's under the square root because this part under the square root was actually negative because it was actually impossible to do it. So we have this uh, non-real thing in our program program breaks in that case. Okay, that's how uh, you can program your calculator. And if you do that on your own calculator, uh, then I'll let you use that on the test on Friday. <laughs>